Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, it's great to be back with you again today. Uh, we're here with Bill Jordan and my wonderful partner, John Coleman. How are you doing, guys? Doing great. How are you guys? Hey, Bill, uh, you look good. You look like a boomer in his prime. Well, thank you. I feel better. I am. Yeah. yeah. And, and isn't it wonderful to be alive today? We have everything. Modern technology. I mean, I think back when, when my first transistor radio, that was a big deal, right? Now we've got millions and millions of things we never thought we'd have. Well, there's a, you know, I, I think that's a great thing. I think sometimes we have too many things. I think we have too many choices sometimes. Um, I'll give you an example here. Tell me what I'm talking about. Blissful Earth, Coconut Kiss, Summer Berry, Cool Wave, North Woods, Mountain Spring. What am I talking about? Um, you could be talking about uh, shades of lipstick. Air freshener. Air freshener. That's, yeah, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. uh, could be talking about... Um, Coconut oil. Know. Coconut oil, uh, body oil. Talking deodorant. <laughs> Talking about deodorants. Vanilla jasmine, eucalyptus mm. lemon, cucumber and green tea, pomegranate, coconut lavender, lavender and white tea. Wow. So, but I, I didn't see you. I didn't see you mention anything dealing with raw pineapple being shoved in your armpit. So that that was not a popular one, was it? Well, but it is a choice, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, but, you know, you walk down any drugstore, go down CVS or Walgreens or wherever you guys have out there, and just you can literally pace off how long the deodorant aisle is with five or six different shelves. And what is the gist of what do we want deodorant to do? Or antiperspirant. You don't want to sweat. You don't want to stink. Here's what I use, guys. And I can go through all that stuff. This is, although there's a little bit of a caveat to this. This is my wife's unscented, clear, secret deodorant. Yep. No scent, clear, doesn't stain my shirts, unscented. But then I noticed just now it says Outlast. It's like now they got a new name on here. So it's Outlast Final Exams. This is this this is what you want to put on if you've got a final exam coming up. <laughs> Also, it says 48 hour, it says superior stress activated. Like if you're under a lot of stress, this will kick in even more. What do we want it to do? Don't sweat, don't stink. But we've got probably hundreds. Oh, here's some other things I looked up on Amazon, just typing in deodorant. Gluten-free. What? Vegan deodorant cruelty free i figure if i'm not stinking i ain't being cruel paraben free aluminum free all the choices in the world think of toothpaste how many different there's whitening there's extra whitening there's extra fluoride there's this there's tartar control there's what do you want to what do you want toothpaste to do clean my teeth leave my breath and mouth feeling fresh and vibrant and alive, right? Sodas, how long is the soda aisle in your grocery store? The beer, the beer aisle alone is like, guys, you got too many choices. And now we've got, now we've got alcoholic water. You got beer, wine, water with booze in it. I mean, it sounds like we're in trouble, quite honestly. I just think sometimes we've got too many choices you look at cable, you look at streaming TV, you've got two, 300 channels, and what do we do? We just keep scrolling, looking for something we want. Now, granted, it's better than back in the days when you and, you know, we were kids when you had to hold, your dad would get you to go and hold the external antenna on the TV and you had three channels, <laughs> right? You were, the, you were the antenna. Yeah. Better than that, but don't you think sometimes that we just, We've got too many choices. When you think of how many choices from the time you get up in the morning until the time you go to bed, think about, it's impossible to count, I think, the number of choices 
decisions that we make in our lives. But Bill, but Bill, um, you're not suggesting that we go back to just the basics like flint and kindling. Are well, you? I think there's a sweet spot somewhere along the line. <laughs> so think about this. All right. So with the scents, with the deodorants, okay, do I want to smell like a tropical breeze if the uh, skin cream that all the, you know, people say I've got to have to keep my skin young, if that has a different scent, and if my, my shower soap has a difference, how many different scents can I carry around on me before, like, I either uh, implode or combust? I just, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm grasping onto this whole notion, and it's one of my embrace the boom principles of keep it simple. Well, Bill, the only problem with that is when you have all these choices, um, let's say the deodorant, if you want that plain and simple deodorant that just helps you not stink, you've got to pay extra for that. <laughs> You probably do. You probably got to pay extra. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that used to be funny because back, you know, back when we had phone books, they print up a phone book, and I was on the air in the Raleigh area, and it's like I didn't want my phone number in the phone book. That cost more to yeah. not print it. <laughs> yeah, you had to pay extra for a private phone number. That's well, just great. you know what? Sorry, it, it, I apologize because I'm I'm sure I'm coming across as the grumpy old man, get off my lawn kind of guy. <laughs> but it's like, why do why do we have all of these choices? Just right. streamline it. Just you know, there's an awesome, there's an argument and has been made for a number of years that successful people. I never saw this in business, but I was tempted to do it. You just wear the same thing every day. There's, that eliminates that standing in the closet in the morning going, what pants and what shirt, what goes with this? What, you know, it's just, you just, you have that uniform and you just, and you get yeah. home and it, you wash it every other day or whatever. And you just wear the same thing. Like you the, uh, like the guy on um, Tim Allen's show, Tool Time. His, Tool Time. His, uh, his associate, I can't remember the character's name, but he'll, he'd open up the closet and he had the same plaid shirt. He had uh, 12 of them. <laughs> yeah, Al. Al, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I wonder if this is, um, is this a new phenomenon because of modern technology and advertising and stuff? After all, if there's a new flavor that comes out, Colgate, uh, Colgate Palmolive, the company, will make a toothpaste out of it, right? I mean, yeah. they'll, be in, they'll just add another toothpaste. Yeah, and I'm not knocking the beer thing. I mean, I've talked to you guys before. I enjoy trying new craft beers. But when I look at the beer aisle, the refrigerated beer, I mean, it's like, I mean, yeah, I want to try something new, but how is anybody really gaining market share when there's 500 brands of beers out there in one store alone? It's, uh, I, I, you know, it, it's beyond my uh, realm of expertise, but it's just, uh, I, you know, I, I guess I'm being a little hypocritical in some areas. I like choice and in other areas i just don't see the need for it but that's just me that's just being the grumpy old man and we could change the show here when i'm on to just you know three grumpy old men if you want <laughs> well you know, I, I uh i think uh, maybe one of the problems is that there are too many people and the ability to micro target them uh because otherwise why would there be so many of these products on the shelf now granted some of them uh, rotate out and disappear, but uh, somebody out there may, must have figured that somebody wanted coconut flavored, uh, un uh, 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 powder free uh, yeah. beer uh, yeah. that's uh, four percent alcohol, and they sell enough of it that it keeps it out there. And if not, they just dump it. Well, think about this, guys. I mean, they they had to run this through some focus group somewhere. Some marketing company ran this stuff through a marketing group. What you know? What do you want to smell like? You know, Tahitian yeah. palm tree, or a Hawaiian uh, sand flea. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. All right, but I do want to make a, a very important distinction here, and that is, while we're talking about a phenomenon that cuts across, seemingly cuts across all products in life, mm -hmm. the one exception I want to make is for beer. It's okay to have lots of choices of beer. <laughs> And I've got friends who would say the same about wine or Please. anything else like that. Yeah. 
And it, and it's and it's fine to have everything. It's just what I've noticed in society. I mean, you know, the 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 deodorant. What what growing up? What did we have growing up? We had Coca Cola. We had Dr Pepper. We had Pepsi. We yeah. had Mountain Dew. We had Neon Orange and Grape. Well, you uh, you didn't need any more than that, actually. <laughs> Okay, and quite quite frankly, uh, back in the day, there was leaded and unleaded. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did you need? I don't know. Again, I, this this may be pointless to many people, but it just strikes me when you stop and think how many decisions we're already making through the day. Yeah, you know, but 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 one nice thing is that there's only one choice for interesting information for boomers. And that would be celebrating Act Two and embrace the boom. What more do you need? That combination, well, I think, is golden and will be on the shelves for eons to come. And get off my lawn. That's going to be my next mug. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is basically, if you're a baby boomer, don't just run out the clock. Try to embrace the boom and where you are in life. And I do believe that you and I can still get better physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom, and stop complaining about everything, Bill. <laughs> Thanks for having me back, guys. Amen. Good Amen. to see you again. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.